Nuremberg, second full day, we leave tomorrow. Uh, today we're gonna go right now check out the Palace of Justice, which is where the Nuremberg trials took place. Uh, that'll be our last kind of glimpse of that part of the city's history, because uh, then we're gonna spend the rest of the day here in the Old Town, uh, see the castle and some churches and some other cool sites. maybe what I'm most excited about. Uh, you know, when you think of Nuremberg, you think about the Nuremberg trials, and it was such a monumental process for international law, and, you know, just hugely significant for the end of the war. I'm excited. Yeah, I think he stated it yesterday. The trial went on for over 200 days. Oh, 260, yeah. 260 All right. days, and it's, it's just remarkable. Let's, uh, let's get in here. I'm opening the first trial in history for crimes against the peace of the world imposes a grave responsibility. The wrongs which we seek to condemn and punish have been so calculated, so malignant and so devastating that civilization cannot tolerate their being ignored because it cannot survive they're being repeated. That four great nations, flushed with victory and stung with injury, stay the hand of vengeance and voluntarily submit their captive enemies to the judgment of the law is one of the most significant tributes that power has ever paid to reason. All right, we just finished our tour of the uh, the museum, and we saw uh, Courthouse 600, which is where the actual trial took place. And uh, for me, this is the complete highlight of the trip. Uh, you know, I've always been interested in law and seeing that courtroom um, and hearing, uh, you know, Robert H. Jackson's opening statement, uh, hearing some of the witnesses speak about their accounts, and, and seeing how four nations were able to come to this agreement to put on the, the first ever uh, international trial of of state politicians. It was incredible. Definitely the highlight of the trip by far. It's one thing when you look at it all in the photos, but then to actually be in the courts, in the courtroom, be inside, sit on those pews, look at where the the judge sat, the defendants, uh, the prosecutors, um, and just look at the photos and kind of compare them side by side and just realize that this took place in this room. It's just surreal. That officially concludes the uh us touring some of the more heavier sites around Nuremberg. The rest of the day is devoted to some of the beautiful old, you know, uh, German sites that uh, have been here long before uh, either of the two wars took place. So we're in this like small liquor store, kind of in this nice, beautiful alley, and I'm just trying to buy uh, two bottles of wheat beer that I can take back to the hostel and enjoy tonight. And there's uh, the store owner, and then this German guy. And this old German guy who looks a little rough, Yash is looking at some Jaeger to take back, because it's very cheap. And uh, the guy sees Yash looking at the Jaeger, goes, picks out 300 milliliter bottles, three little bottles of this Jaeger, and just opens them in front of us and just hands them to us and just expecting us to take them and immediately drink. You know, yeah, the main motivation was, you know, Germany, 
Jaeger. Obviously, I guess, yeah, Jaeger's, one, in, one Jaeger's, in Germany. Yeah, one in Germany. You know how to drink Jaeger. So I was like, you know what? I picked some up. And it's this, like, this it's 4 p.m. I hate Jaeger. I love the, Jaeger. The guy had opened these <laughs> bottles. You can't say no. He was so generous. He was giving it to us. He wasn't going to make us uh, pay. And he had already opened them. So here we are, 4 p.m. The best kind of peer pressure just and happened. We, we just drank a bunch of Jaeger. All right, now we're headed back to that same liquor store. I didn't have any cash, so I couldn't buy my beers. And of course, after uh, he gave us those free shots of Jaeger, I have to have to buy those beers because he was so kind. Totally. These 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 men are fabulous. Yeah. They've, they've oh, given us they've, yeah. They've they've, oh. they've said that they've given us these chocolates, and they've said that that when we go back <laughs> home to it. Canada that we should eat these chocolates and, and remember who they were, who they ate, who, who gave them to us, and just, just remember their faces, and, and we definitely will. Their hospitality has been awesome. So yes, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so much. It was fantastic meeting both of you. Thank you, sir. No thank problem. You. Thank, yes. you. thank you. No problem. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Ciao. So we went back and I bought the, the wheat beers that I was looking to buy. And this is after they've already given us a free shot of, of Jaeger. And uh, we come out and as we're leaving, they insist, they, they practically force into our hands um, a Kinder Surprise each and a bottle of whatever that is. <laughs> it's uh, apparently a, a, a German specialty right from- It's blue, I don't think I'm gonna be drinking that. The one fellow who, who was giving us all the free things, he was from Czechoslovakia. Um, the, the guy who owned the store was from Afghanistan and we couldn't understand anyone. Um, so the Czechoslovakian guy would talk in German to the store owner um, from Afghanistan, who would then talk in Hindi to Yash, who would then translate to English for me. So uh, for me to talk to the Czechoslovakian man that I was having a conversation with about racism in, Ger uh, in Germany, uh, it had to be translated twice. It's been an awesome day. I think the, the best interaction I've had yet in Germany. So Yash has been such a good sport about eating at all these German places where I've had sausage and pork and schnitzel and he's had the same three dishes over and over, potato dumplings, German mac and That's cheese. Best yeah. yeah. I mean, no complaints. I've loved every but German meal. But it's been too repetitive. It's been pretty repetitive and so, um, you know, Kevin here took one for the team tonight and we have come to an Indian restaurant, Sangam. Cheers. No, we're just taking a video. Oh, sorry. No, 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 no worries. No. What? You should come inside. Yeah. I'll <laughs> oh, come, come closer. There, oh, there. Right. Right. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Fantastic weekend. Yeah. Everything I wanted to see. Good mix of history. Beautiful sights. Great food. Great beer. All in all, fantastic weekend. Amazing city. Uh, amazing sights. History, food. Just a really, really great time. Glad we came. Um, come to Nuremberg, it's beautiful. Kevin, if you had a recommendation for a dish and a beverage for anyone that's visiting, what would you recommend? A food? dish. Um, you have to pork suit here. Um, they have pork shoulders and pork roasts, but I'd say go for the bratwurst. Try the, the Nuremberg bratwurst. Um, and then uh, the wheat beer. Definitely the wheat beer. Right. Not the adventure. You got the game. Let's do it. Alright. Cheers. I'm gonna finish this beer and then we're gonna head to bed.